Hey guys, welcome. This is Mr. Logan King. I'm a huge Star Wars fan, so I have tons of toys, tons of uh, memorabilia, and I got like displays, etc. So I decided that uh, I'm a huge comic book uh, collector. So, but I never thought about collecting the 1970s series uh, from 77. I think it went up to like 88, I believe, um, books. Uh, there's 107, I believe three annuals so i have decided to go ahead and get a complete run um now all of them are really affordable to get like uh nine or higher the range are like about 50 bucks so one 42 and 68 are the three highest ones uh, so uh, 68 I already bought. It's supposed to be here in a couple of days. Uh, but it's 7.0. Uh, so I bought the 7.0 because it was cheap and it was like uh, right around $90 plus tax and all that. So it was the best value for the buck. Number one, I'm going to send this right here in to uh, PGX to have graded. Uh, I think it's an 8.0 plus or minus, give or take. Uh, so I'm going to send this in, and this will be number one for the uh, run I'm trying to complete. And I want to also try to get all the uh, reprints from, uh, I forgot what they call it, Diamond or whatever, uh, Whitman. Anyway, the new one is no barcode. I'm going to try to get all these. Um, now, these I got two, and I also have three. Right here, so I'm gonna send these in to get graded. Um, this one I think would be like seven and a half, eight, number two. So we'll just stick with seven and a half plus or minus on this because it's, it's got a good spine, it's got a few stick uh spine ticks, but I think they could be pressed out. Um, the worst thing is the corner right here, it's dinged up a little bit. But other than that, the corners are pretty sharp. The back is the immaculate. So I think you could get at least a seven, seven and a half. Hoping for a seven and a half. Now this one, it's got nice corners. The spine's pretty, uh, you know, good. It just got some really small spine ticks. Uh, the only problem with this one is, is it has uh, some wrinkles here. Got a wrinkle here, one up here, and it's got like something going on right here, like a water spot hit right there. It's all wrinkled. So I'm thinking this will be like six and a half, seven. But I'm fine with that because these are the reprints. I'm just trying to get all the reprints also. The no bar rate reprints. Uh, so now this one. It was also one of the reprints, but I was able to uh, find one of those 8.5, got for like 40 bucks. So this one is too bad. Uh, it's really bad. So uh, I'm not going to send this in. It's just not, uh, it'll probably be like a four, four and a half. So no need to send this in. Yeah, I'm going to come in. It was cheap enough. It's actually because PGX charges like, uh, I think, Pressing and uh, grading was like forty eight dollars book for uh, nineteen seventy seven and before nineteen seventy eight to present it's only like uh, say about thirty two I think for pressing and cleaning and uh, grading so that one I'm not gonna send in. Now, I thought about sending this one in, but problem with this one is it has a stain right here. So this thing will prevent it from being what I'm looking for. Uh, plus, it's got a crease right here. Crease goes all the way across here. So, this is right, probably like a five, five and a half. So, if I can get a copy that's nine or higher for like 50 bucks off eBay, it'd be what it would cost to grade this. So, I'm not going to grade that either. And I have this one also. Uh, this is just has a lot of bad staining. It looks like foxing or something. Um, and the white right here. 
a package covered in it. Uh, again, this one would probably be like a three. But I could get a graded copy for about 60 bucks, give or take. So, probably like, an, I think it's like a nine. And there's some that's a little higher that's probably close to $80 range. But to me, that's worth it because it's not worth uh, grading this one for the price. All right, the next one is one I will be sending in. This is Star Wars 41. It's the first appearance of Yoda. It's the Empire Strikes Back uh, adaptation story. This one just has a few spine ticks. Uh, corners are square. And I think this will be between an 8.5 and a 9.2. So I'm just gonna say a nine plus or minus. It's right here. If it gets lower than uh if it gets lower than an eight point five, I'll be surprised. Because the back cover is white. So I'm thinking it's a nine plus or minus. And this one right here, this one is kinda of iffy. I'm not sure if I'm gonna send this in or not. Um this is the other uh barcode reprint. Uh, of number one, the spine is pretty good. It's just all four corners is something wrong. Like this one's got a bend. This one's tore up a little bit. Uh, this has got a little piece out. And this one, it's got a crease right here going across here, right there. So, um. I'm assuming this probably would be, I would say a six, plus or minus. So I'm not sure if I'm going to send this in yet. I might. Depends on if I can find one that's, you know, close to this, but cheaper. So this is one here is if you want. I'm not sure yet. I have one that I cannot find that I'm going to send in if I find it. It's, uh, I, forget, I think it's 46 or 48. I can't remember. Uh, but anyway. But fine, I'm gonna send it in. It's where Luke and uh, Darth Vader dueling on the cover. Can't remember what number it is. All right. Now I got two slabs here. Uh, this is uh, Star Wars 53 at 9.0 white pages for CBCS. Um, pay like forty dollars. Let's say forty-one dollars for everything. It was free shipping. I pay forty-one dollars for this one. If you see it, that's pretty good. I'm looking for this quality. I don't care if it's CGC, I don't care if it's CBCS or PGX. I just care about the number right here nine or higher for these books. Of course, except for one, uh, 42 and 68. All right, and again, this is uh, CBCS. White pages, nine point four, Star Wars forty nine. Uh, it's got like a couple of first appearances. Uh, it says first appearance and death of. Is it Jedaha, Jedaha. So I can't pronounce it anyway. First appearance, uh, Captain Zeta. <clears throat> it's his uh, trial. Luke Skywalker appears with a red lightsaber. So, there you go. This says The Last Jedi. This book got hot when The Last Jedi movie came out. I guess because it says it on the cover. Anyway, there you go. It's nice. 9.4. Pretty good. Alright. I have. So I got uh, 42, I think, or 40. Oh, I got like uh, three or four coming. One of them I might not get because the guy has not contacted me or ship it. So I might have to uh, get my money refunded. It was like $35 for the annual three at a uh, eight. Point five, so haven't heard for the guy, so we'll see what happens. But uh, I got uh, 
So where's that one at? Anyway, I got this one right here coming. Graded at 8.5. I think it was like $48. I got a 68 coming at 7.0. White pages from CBCS. And the other one, I can't remember which one it is. Uh, might be 38 or 39. Now, actually, I think it's 40. But anyway, it'll be here tomorrow, probably. So, I'll show the next video. The videos I'll do for this would be like uh, maybe once a month. I'm not going to do them every week. I'm going to do it once a month because I'm going to slowly do this. Uh, so, it won't impact my finances too much. Uh, so, it'll be a slow burn uh, to get them all, basically. So, I hope you guys tune in for a once a month video on this. Um. And that's it, I guess. Uh, so, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, subscribe. Click what you want. Click what you like. And don't get turned to FOMO. Just enjoy the hobby. Thanks. Bye.